folks, welcome back to Natural Magic Building. I, today, I've, I've, I, 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 I've got a whole bunch of green crap on me that I need to get rid of. Let's go do that real quick. The easiest way would just be to run down. Yo. I'm so lazy, I'm not even going to try to type in any eye. I'm just going to go down to the kitchen. And, whoa, hello. And acquire one. <laughs> Just gonna run down, grab a trash can, you know, as one does. Alright. So today, I believe, let's get rid of these. Get rid of that. Uh, do I want to work on the blue room today, or do I want to put some... I need to put some stinking windows in up here. It's way too dark and... and dreary and everything else. So let's get rid of a whole bunch of crap here. Get rid of all this. Let's keep the tools. Bone meal. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need none of that. Okay. Oh, does R not do the thing? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's jump down here. Boop. And grab some windows. There we go. I need some of that. I need some of that. How, how are we doing out here, by the way? Okay, let me go to survival real quick. And uh, let's pick our stuff. All right. Cool, cool. Why am I doing this legit? Why am I not just cheating records in? I don't know. I, 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 I kind of still want to do this part legit. This part being uh, the growing of creeper and skeleton seeds. Now I've got the creeper seeds and the creeper seeds are ripe. It appears. Oh, you decided you wanted to sprout after all, did you? Okay. Okay. And oh, it doesn't do the thing. It doesn't hiss. And the cow seeds don't moo. That's sad. Yeah, I know the creeper seeds used to scare the hell out of me by hissing when you pulled them up. And I would, I thought that was an actual fax creeper coming to light me up. No, it was just a, just a, a veggie creeper. Harmless, but, you know, scared the bejesus out of you. Whoops, didn't mean to pull that one up. Alright, we'll just leave the rest of that crap. Okay, um, let's put that, that, that away there. Uh, that away there, that away there, and that away there. Okay. Where's the? Okay, there's the regular. Dupe, 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 dupe. All right. Oops, that needed to go there. <coughs> no, it needed to go there. There we go. Oh my lord. Okay. Get. Alright, 11 of them. Oh, hey. That gives me another three. Another three regular. And I'm gonna get one strong out of that. Cool beans. So we've almost got skelly seeds. We're one strong essence away from skelly seeds. And well, screw all this noise. Uh, <laughs> okay, back to creative. Alright, I got the things I needed to got. So let's go on up. Okay, and I was dinking around with towers here. Um, this just didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. But 
All right. Let's see how this how this uh, evens out here. Oops. Nope, nope. Come back here. Okay, that's perfect. All right. Oops. Uh, do I want to... I'll, I'll just do them square. It's fine. Now, why am I doing that? When I can do that. Okay. Okay, just just uh, go pop, 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 pop. Yeah, that's perfect. That's excellent. All right. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I decided the throne room is a bit uneven, and it can stay that way. Um, I'm not sure what happened when I was building it. Something clearly went pear-shaped, and it is too pear-shaped to fix easily, so screw it. We have a Baroque throne room. That's the word we're going to use. It's not, it's not off-center. It's not lopsided. It's Baroque. Okay? No, not broke. It's... That's part of its charm, you see. So yeah, um, yeah, modern beef Beefnopolis is not going to have the big cathedral, whoops, ceiling thing. It's not even going to have a throne room as such. Uh, being a modern city, uh, Chateaubriand City is going to have a capital building, where I will, of course, you know, have the, uh, the government seat. And we'll have, you know, the, um, the the parliament from the various regions of Beefnopolis. We'll have a kind of a United Nations thing where all the other food-related um, countries get their little... Uh, oops. Okay. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's the same. Yeah, crap. What did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. See, I've decided I'm not actually going to build Chateaubriand City. One, two, three, four, five, six. In the mushroom biome, like I was originally going to do. I've decided that mushroom biomes actually crap actually belong to the vegan tribe. And that's just that's just a um and kind of an unspoken rule in Beefnopolis and thereabouts is, you know, the uh mushroom biomes all belong to the vegan tribe. So that's their tribal land. And while it is technically within Beefnopolis borders, it does belong to them and they are free to Use it as they please. There we go. I could do this with the hammer. But whatevs. Okay. Alright. And uh, what pray tell pack am I going to be building Chateaubriand City in? I'm glad you asked. If you haven't been following along, it's going to be Hermitcraft Mod Sauce 2. I was originally going to do it in Horizons uh, Daybreaker. The problem is Horizons, whoops, is missing some mods that I consider kind of crucial. Both for survival and for creative. Um, most notably, it doesn't have Bibliocraft. And I'm sorry, that one is an absolute necessity for me. But, uh, Mod Sauce 2 has all the mods in Daybreaker that I wanted to play with, like Apple Milk and Tea and Decocraft. And then it also has those other very, those other VIMs, very important mods. Okay. 
Wow, this already looks better. Let's see what it looks like from in here. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, that's a big, big improvement. Alright. Let's go over here. So it was one, two, one, two, three. 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 Whoops. <coughs> Excuse me. Three. Perfect. All right. Boop. 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 Doop. Doop. Oh, damn. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Okay, and boop. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. So yeah, survival is done. Uh, the only thing that I'm doing in survival now, of course, is the... Uh, Harvesting of essence and making of magical crops. Crap. Magical craps. <laughs> well, you know, the, uh, the earth essence does kind of look like that. But anyway. I'm not going to worry about Zavichio. Uh, well, it's not Zavichio. It's... The, Zavichio is not as in this version. This is the old magical crops. Yeah, um, I was going to do that in Sky Factory. Make the Zavichio armor on Coffee Hound's suggestion because it gives full creative flight. Except there's one tiny problem. Uh, in Sky Factory, making uh, the uh, infusion stone necessary to create Zavichio essence in Sky Factory 2 requires... Let me get rid of that. Requires a um, another star. And it requires two unstable ingots. And, um, yeah, we're not doing that in Sky Factory. That's not going to happen. All right. I want to come up here. I want to... Oops, wrong way. All right, let me out of here. Okay, so I've kind of been playing with the towers a little bit, but nothing I do to the towers is really making them awesome. So, <laughs> we're not going to worry about making them awesome, we're just going to make them not suck. How about that? Alright, I'm going to do this. Actually, let's use something that is not part of the design. Let's use this to make sure I've got the right height going here. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, we can we can kill this now. Make this go away. All right. No, not the hammer. Please, hammer, don't hurt him. Okay. All right. Okay, that that's about right. About right, more or less. Uh, another thing I need to do here real quick, before I forget, give me some of these. Oh. Let's go ahead and just spike this wall up here. What was that? I think that might have been the garbage man. I think I might sneeze. I might. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Oh, man. I 
kind of hurt. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. No, stop it. Alright. Okay. Alright. There we go. Alright, get a little get a little rhythm going there. Oh shut up. So I got a I got a coffee machine. I haven't I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but that's mostly because it's a pain to make a proper pot of coffee when I'm only gonna drink like one cup of it. And I've been wanting stop it. I've been wanting a K cup machine. But my god, they're so expensive. i they're just ridiculously overpriced. I'm sorry, but they are. But, uh, my grocery store, bless their hearts, they got a machine in that does ground coffee and K-cups. And with my uh, little store card there, it was $40. That's 40 minis. Yes, yes indeed. And, uh, so I snagged that bad boy. And now I have hot coffee and hot chocolate on demand whenever I want. It's amazing. Let's hear it for technology. Okay. And knock this down. So I'll do a couple of towers. And uh, then I think at that point... Whoops. I think at that point we might call it a night. And then... Uh, Next time we'll go back to working on some of the guest rooms and crap like that. Some of the uh, interior stuff. Yeah, we kind of start start the series and end the series working on the same thing right here, though, with the wall. Yeah, that's another thing Modern Beefnopolis is not going to have. It's not going to have this wall. Because, you know, we're, we're a friendly country. We love our neighbors. We, f we see no need to build a meat wall. I mean, yeah, sometimes some individuals in the vegan tribe can be a little overbearing, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's fine. Just let them eat what they want to eat. We'll eat what we want to eat. Nobody's going to force anybody to eat anything that they don't want to eat. And it's fine. It's all good. We can We can coexist. We can all live together not going to get into holy wars over vegetables. That's dumb. I mean, because I... Let's be real here. What is a steak without a baked potato to go with it? Or some vegetables or some... some well, some broccoli. I have a friend. A uh, grown-ass man. <laughs> I don't know how I end up with all these grown-ass man friends with the taste buds of four-year-olds. But, uh, it has happened. Um, it happens. He's not the only one. I like to torture him by making yummy noises about broccoli whenever it's mentioned. I actually got another one of my uh, picky grown-ass man friends to eat broccoli at one point, and he, uh, he uh, admitted that it was not horrible. Uh, what's wrong with y'all? Broccoli is delicious. It's delicious. It's good for you. It's awesome. Okay, I'm going to do one more tower. And then, whoa, hello. That was weird. I'm going to do one more tower. And then we're going to call it a night. Hey. Up, 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 up. There we go. Oops, nope, not there. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay, come on, come on. All right. I think I'm gonna, you know, all those way back in like the first episode, I put stairs kind of around the mid sections of the towers just to kind of break it up a little bit. But now, I, I honestly, I think I'm gonna go pop those back out. After all this time, I'm gonna go pop those back out because they don't really add that much. 
I think, and I think they're honestly a little bit of a little bit of a distraction, a little bit of an eyesore. Oh, speaking of eyesores, there is one thing I need to do. One of these towers, way back in the day, I put a door in the tower. Well, that was before I learned how to do the carpenter block secret doors. I think these. I think we need to have secret doors in the wall. I think that would be a good thing. So, okay. Oh, crap! <laughs> so I'll finish this tower. We'll go pop those doors out. We'll put a secret door in, and then we'll maybe do a couple more of them. Have I a carpenter's hammer? I do. There we go. Alright. I did that because... It was kind of a pain. Oh, but oh, but it's fine. It doesn't. It doesn't need to be. Huh? Who goes? Huh? Oh, Elvis. Hi, Elvis. Yeah, I put those in there. Whoa. Okay. Trackball is a little touchy right now for some reason. All right. Ah, here's a good. No, not really. Um. Okay, here is a good place for one. Nope, that's not a good place for one. Never mind. Um, let's see. There, where's the... Uh, where's the one tower that had it? Oh, hey. Here we go. Okay, give me a carpenter's door. Carpenter's door. Right there. Okay. And give me the hammer. Perfect. And we'll put a little something down here. Give me some podzel. Or, give me a long grass block. That's perfect. So we know the door is there, but it's not obvious. And then we can get into the wall and not have to go all the way to this gate. There's, there it is, there it is. Eh, you know what, that one, that one is fine, that one can stay. Let's see. Let's drop. Oh, let's drop another one back here. Back here. Yeah, buddy. Um, or not. Okay, that's not a good place. Um. Let's see. Ah, here's a pl here's a possibly a place. Nope, not there. Oh, uh, this seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> it did. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Here we go. There's one. Okay, there's that one. Um, where else? Where else can we stick one? Right here? Alright. Let's put a... There we go. Okay. Oh, I still need to do some, uh, some logs around here too, don't I? We'll do it later. We'll do it another time. Okay, folks. Actually, I think I'm gonna at this point call it a night. And next time we'll work on another guest room and do some other stuff. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Uh, what have I done?
Oh, oh god. Um. Wow. That, um, that was a misfire.